Welcome to Undertale Comic TV. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video. Enjoy! Hey, Frisk! Chara, you're so adorable. I love your cheeks. I want to squish them. Pop! <laughs> Ouch! Fist, stop! You're hurting me! Mm. Sorry, but they're so soft. Your cheeks are mine, and you're mine, so I'll be watching you. Yeah, Mom. It's your thing. Bye. Hey, Error? Mm -hmm. Mom said she and your mom are around, so they'll come visit in a bit. In a bit? Yeah. So? I don't know, Paps. Why should I care? I've already taken care of Kara. Now, we can move on peacefully. But, brother, don't you realize how much power you've gained? You can't move on peacefully after everything you did. This level of LV is tearing you apart inside. You'll grow insane. No worries. I got everything under control. Now you do. But for how long? You still crave that rush of power. The adrenaline. The fear in your victims. The pleasure of that final attack that turns your enemy to dust. I did it all not because I liked it, but because there was no other way. That's right. But as you progressed, after each kill, it became something more than just an objective, didn't it? Come on, say yes. It's gonna be a fun adventure. So, what's your decision, Dust? You're not going to waste the power we all gave up our lives for, are you? Huh. I guess you're right, bro. After all this hard work, some of us need to rest. In pieces. <laughs> you can't just win a battle by being determined. That just makes your story even less believable. Which only proves my point in class. Monsters don't exist in the real world. But if they do, they're definitely not family. Real monsters are mindless, heartless predators who would kill to survive. They neither feel nor understand what feelings are. They don't love or need to be loved. And most importantly, monsters hate being with humans. So you can forget about setting your imaginations free, because it won't ever happen. You take that back! Or what? You'll use determination to fight me? Yeah. Face it, Frisk. It's like I said before. You can't win by just being determined. You also gotta know how to put up a fight. But of course, you still can't win when you're fighting against me. <laughs> Good one. Standing up for monsters? You can't even stand up for yourself. 
This is the real world, Frisk. And in the real world, only the strongest can survive. So you can continue dreaming or wake up. You try to keep ignoring his words. But you also feel reluctant of your own thoughts. You think back on your journey. Before the humans found you on top of Mount Ebbet. What you could have done. What could have been done? Even with determination, you feel you could have taken action. Underground, you could have leveled up to get stronger, but you refused. Up here, you could have stood up for yourself, the only fight. But no. All you have done is run and hide. You question if you're either doing this because you don't want to fight, or if you're just weak in general. Show them. Show them you're not weak. No. Not in that way. I can't. It, it's not right. <laughs> but then again, when has the world ever known what is right and wrong? The world is what we make of it, friend. And right and wrong is only another term for saying you're one of them or not. But you're not one of them. No. You're special. That's why only you can determine your path. But I... You want to prove them your point, correct? You want to prove everyone your point. You are not a liar. You are not weak. Justify yourself. Show no mercy. Justify... Show them who is the one in control. Ah! Ah! Ah, I know! Come on, man! Let's beat it! You guys are so boned next time! What just happened? Hey, buddy. It's kind of rude to get in a stranger's way, don't you think? Uh. So what's it gonna be? You gonna boondoggle there all day? Or are you gonna greet a new pal? That line... Could I... Just maybe... No! Kill them! Kill! Kill them! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! No! Leave me alone! The... <sighs> oh no. Huh? I I'm sorry, but I have to go. Hey, wait! I wonder how's everyone. I wonder how everyone's doing. Hopefully better than me. Huh? My cell phone. That's funny. I thought there was no magic reception up here. I'll just leave a message. So, it's been a while. The human souls the king gathered, uh, well, they seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. It's probably for the best, anyways. All humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. She instated a new policy. But even though the people are heartbroken over their king, the Queen returned and is now ruling over the Underground. And things are looking grim for our freedom. The Queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take, but we will get out of here. Thorns! Who are you talking to? Uh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait, I recognize this number. Attention, human! We're helping Alphys with her research. Andine's helping too. I've been appointed to the Royal Guard. It's, uh, hey, it's everything I've... Hey, what are you I... up to, punk? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't knock in the phone. Hey, who's in charge here? Me! Oh, yeah, that's right. I put my job as leader of the Royal Guard. <laughs> Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But 
guys. I promise. Get you all out of there. Even if I have to start everything all over again. Should I tell them the truth? Even if I did, would things be different? I've seen every ending, every path, every choice. I know every story. I know what happens next. The only difference of every story is the beginning. <laughs> 